Hey guys, Justin Mondak here. I uh, wanted to go, and Harley, can't forget her, she wanted to be in the video today. So I uh, wanted to go over a few things, just got back from uh, town and doing a little bit of running around. And just, just kind of wanted to let you know how things are up in, in my neck of the woods, or hills, however you want to say it. But uh, stay tuned. If you like this kind of stuff, please comment. I uh, like talking to all of you guys. Hit the subscribe uh, button and uh, and ring that bell so you guys can get further uh, videos from me. So stay tuned and we'll get into this. All right, guys. So uh, just got back to town. Um, and went and got just a few more things, you know, um, we, where we live, our well, we have well water, which is good, but it's not the best drinking water. So, you know, I already have stuff to, to purify it and boil it and, and, uh, <laughs> and make it drinkable, you know, but, uh, we use those five gallon, um, you know, the big five gallon water jugs and a cooler. But I also have a hand pump that I can just put right on top of it and, and pump water out of it just, just in case we lose power or something like that, you know. But So went and got some water, uh, filled propane tanks, you know, just in case we needed to use it to cook. You know, I have my barbecue outside with a, uh, uh, you know, one of them propane grills on the side. Also, I have, you know, plenty of uh, other things that can use some propane to cook on um, just in case I need to resort to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, um, you know, with the propane, I got an adapter for one of those Mr. Buddy heaters just in case we needed to, you know, use some heat in case power went out. You know, we have something to, to heat us up, you know, at least one room where we could all be in one room. But um, Freedom Seeds went out there to get some Freedom Seeds and they have been just ransacked. Of course, we don't have very many stores up here that carry, you know, this type of stuff. So everybody that is anybody or knows what they want goes out and get it now i did get a few things to uh to go along with some tools that i have so that's good and and before all this i have plenty of stock but i just kind of wanted to you know get a couple extra so um no bit not right now anyways um so i went and did that uh made sure my pickup was topped off of fuel uh made sure all of my my extra fuel was topped off just in case which, you know, my plan is to bug in. I, where I live, I am plenty far away from anything, really. And, uh, you know, if I needed to go and bug out, well, you know, I got a full, full tank of fuel, I got extra fuel, and all my gear is in my pickup. And then I have my bag, you know, that I can grab with me, throw in the pickup, and, and off we go. So that's good there. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was... You know, everybody's is freaking out, um, whether it be the toilet paper, you know, the wipes. Um, it, it seems like people are so dependent on every day. You know, everybody's so used to everything being right there at their at their fingertips. You know, I, I've seen people on social media, you know, whining about the baby wipes and this and that. And I get it. I really do. I really get it that it's nice to have those type of necessities. When and I was talking to my wife about this. When we had our kids, we, I mean, when, when we went down to like five packs of baby wipes, we would go get another box just because you never know. You always have to prepare for that. And, you know, if you are a new parent, it's just, it's something that you need to start training yourself for because you don't want your kids to be without. Um, you know, you can always use, and it's not, I mean, nobody likes to do it, but you can use a rag and some water, you know, and, and, and clean up and then just go dispose of the, uh, you know, <laughs> the big chunks in a bag and then wash that rag. The baby will be fine. You can use cloth diapers or, you know, if you don't have cloth diapers, use a towel. You know, you can always cut up a towel into a, you know, a rectangle piece, fold that in there and get yourself some, uh, um, you know, those safety pins and you got a diaper that you can wash. You know, there's a lot of things that you can adapt to. And it's it's not the end of the world, guys. It really isn't. I promise you. You know, and if it is, you'll survive. You will do it. 
Okay, you will find out a way, you know, without harming anybody. People did it before all of these luxuries came along. I just, I don't understand it. But, um, just a couple of things I wanted to go over. You know, I hear they're, uh, they're closing down, um, you know, back home at where I'm from, Washington. They shut down all the schools like they're doing everywhere else. They also passed a thing where the restaurants, the bars, the entertainment, um, things like that are closed. They still will do a drive-through type deal, um, but nobody can go inside and eat, which, you know, is to be expected. The sooner we get over this, the sooner everything will go back to normal. Um, but, I mean, there is a few things that uh, people are worried about with martial law, and uh, just be ready. You know, if you can hunker down, hunker down. You know, keep yourself and your family safe, and... Uh, you'll be okay. So that's all I had for this guys. Um, like I said, if you like this type of stuff, uh, leave a comment, you know, hit that subscribe and the notifications, but that's all I had guys. You guys be safe out there and good luck. And you know, if you guys need to email me or just comment or have questions, you know, uh, in my about section is my email and hit me up. I like talking to you guys, you know, so be safe out there and, and take care. We'll see you later.